Misericordiam tuam, et secundum multitudinem miserationum tuarum, dele iniquitatem meam, amplius, amplius lave me, ad iniquitate mea, et a peccato meo monde me, quoniam iniquitate meam, ego cocut peccato meum contra me es sempre. Misericordiam tui omnipotens Deus, et ilisis peccatis tuis.
Hurry up, gringo. We got to go. Vamos. Thank you. Gracias, amigo. Buena suerte. Adiós. My name's Bart. I want to tell you something. When I was just about knee-high to a rattlesnake, my pop told me, boy, don't ever forget what I'm about to tell you. Money is everything. It's love, it's life, and everybody steals it. Those way up on top, the filthy rich, as well as the poor slobs down at the bottom. And pop told me, money is like ripe fruit on a tree. Just waiting for you. All you have to do is uh, just stretch your hand out and grab it before someone else does. And keep your eyes open wide. Remember to be fast on the draw and shoot to kill. Don't ever be on the side of the dude that gets it. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, I guess Pop was right. Yep. I've always kept my eyes open wide. And it always turned out mighty fine for me. <laughs> yep. Mighty fine. Hi, boys. You made good time. Who? Who? Hi, Phil. Howdy. Dead? Hmm. With old deadpan tail on, it must have been pretty dull riding. <laughs> 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 
this fine hideout of yours. It ain't far. Just a little ways ahead and we'll be there. Yeah, looks like a possum. Yeah. Wonder who they're looking for. Who cares? Let them look. It's a good excuse to rest a while. They're gone now. Let's go.
He kind of sort of looks like you, Ted. Why don't you skin him and make yourself a hat to match that coat of yours? I reckon it stinks as much. <laughs> no sense of humor. Hey, look here. Look at Howdy, Phil. I've got to get some water downstairs.
much in desiring other man's woman. Especially if he's ornery looking. <laughs> like you. <laughs> No horse. Please, senores, will you give me a ride into town? It's too far for me to walk all the way. What do you say, Lamb? Yeah. All right. Push it, Raskin. Don't be afraid. I will not hurt you. My 
Matalo! Kill him! like Bart's got his. What you intend to do with this kid? Hmm. Listen, muchachito. I'm going to let you go free. I will give you this nice big horse. Fire! I said go on! Just great today, Mary. You know, robbing that stage came pretty easy. You know, you play the part of a Mexican girl very well. Ain't that right, Ted? Yeah, we did all right. After we divvy up, we'll all be rich. Two hundred thousand dollars. Think of it. Too bad for Bart. Think of all the fun we can have with all that money. First, we'll rest a while. Then we'll decide what we'll do. I've got plans. I know what I'm going to do. You ever listen to the sound of gold? It's like music to my ears. Look how they shine. Yeah, you're right. Ain't it pretty? Just look at it. Beautiful. 
just like a woman. <laughs> Sorry, I have to. out the window. I saw him carrying it away. What do you think? Huh? What do you want to do? Wake up, Phil. Somebody's at fire to the house. Ted!
What are you doing here? Who are you? Better answer. Who are you? Gertrude Benson. And I want you to know this is my home. What do you want here? <laughs> Mary! Ted! There's a fire out! Yeah. Oh. No. Uh, this is Mrs. Gertrude Benson, the owner of this here ghost town. Yeah? <laughs> well, what do you know? <laughs> Lots of strange things you got in this house, Mrs. Benson. Reminds me of the museum. <laughs> There's Ted's weakness, hers. Let's see how it looks on you, Ted. <gasps> Purdy, mighty purdy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this fine cake. <laughs> <laughs> No. Stand aside, Mrs. Benson, please. Oh, this is for you, Ted. No. <laughs> What's this, a night jerk? <laughs> <laughs> Would you two be wanting around this place? Hmm? All right, come on, speak up. I was just riding by, more dead than alive. When... I saw him falling off his horse while I was trying to get water from the well. Wait, you don't understand. You're looking for trouble. You're going to get it. All right, talk. I've already told you I was just passing by. I didn't even know this town existed. You're a liar. You're going to talk. Just as I told you. I never even seen her before. What do they call you? 
I have so. We lost well. You didn't even know this town existed. That's the truth. Yeah. 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 Oh. Just an innocent stranger, huh? <laughs> Where were you heading for? No place at all. I was just riding. <laughs> <laughs> I was just riding to tell you I ain't looking for trouble. Oh. <laughs> uh, who are you working for, huh? Are you a lawman? What do you do for a living? Whatever I happen to get. Mm. Yeah, I... I... Yeah. Oh, Whatever yeah. you happen to get. I... <laughs> 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 made plans to go north. You see, but he got sick and died along the way. Drink of water. Huh? Water? Water? Yeah. Yeah. Now. <laughs> Leave her alone, you beast! You hag. Just say that once again. Yes. And what will you do? I'll kill you. Stranger, what is this thing? Hmm? What do you use it for? What'd you do, steal it from some Indian? Aw, oh, cut it out, Ted. You don't want to frighten a stranger here, do you? Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
Why don't you want me anymore? Because you ain't worth nothing. How long before we see Baxter so we can divvy up the gold? I can't wait to get my hands on my share of that gold. <laughs> In due time, first we have to deliver the gold, exactly as he asked us to. Who? Yeah. <laughs> Baxter, of course. Who else? <laughs> <laughs> Told you I'd make you rich. <sighs> When are you seeing Baxter? Tomorrow morning. Appointments at nine. And then we'll divvy up, right? <sighs> Phil, now that Baxter's gone, it'll be me, you and Ted. Yeah, and if we get rid of him, it'll be just us. Yeah, you're right. That would be nice. I've been meaning to tell you. He wanted me to find out where you hit the gold. Best we don't tell Ted about it at all. But Philip, you ought to tell me about it. Don't you want to tell me? Where did you hide the gold? Where is it?
about an hour to get the Baxter up here. Sorry, but it's too dangerous. But, Mr. Baxter, you hired me to get that gold. You said nothing about how it should be done. Yes, but our deal did not include killing all those people, so you got to be patient. Now we got to change our plans. Everybody thinks the killers are Mexicans. They're looking high and wide for them. Kid gave a description. Now, as for the gold, you'll have to deliver it to my place in Mexico. I won't be able to get rid of it in the States. Well, if you can't do it, we sure can't. Then I'll expect you at Santa Ana. When? I'll be there on Saturday, and uh, you'll be there. Pretty? Don't remind you of a great big drop of water, huh? <laughs> yeah. Nice cool water. We got plenty of nice cool running water. Right over there, just a few feet away. All you have to do is just get yourself up and get some. All you can drink. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's it. You're almost there now. <laughs> Just a little ways more. There you are. <laughs> 
Don't it look good, huh? <laughs> huh? And it up. <laughs> Here, great big drop in the water. Go ahead. Boy, didn't you hear what I said? I told you to get up. Get out of here and leave us in peace. You must be crazy to torture the boy this way. Can't you see he doesn't have an ounce of strength left in him? You're right. Come on. I'm not going to hurt you. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You and me have a little game of tag.
I feel better now. Oh, yes, thank you, son. How they made you suffer, too. Listen to me. I've been thinking it over. With your help, I can see this town reborn. I'll make it worth your while if you stay. I'm sorry I have to go. It's years I've been waiting for someone like you to come along and help me recreate this town. My life ended here years ago. It was all over for me. They all deserted the place, even my husband. May he rest in peace. You know, one of those men was burying a large case the other night. You know what's in it? It's gold. And I know where it is. We'll recreate the town. You and I must defend it. Well, I've got plenty of rifles and ammunition hidden away. What do you say? I appreciate your offer. Honest. But you see, I don't know nothing about guns or rifles. How's that? Because I've been taught other ways to fight. But that's very strange for a young man. Why haven't you ever learned to use a gun? Because it's just that I was born a preacher's son, you understand? We're against violence. What about that beast out there? You mean to say you don't intend to get even with him? I don't aim to hurt him, but he's got to be taught to appreciate what it means to be dying of thirst. Then I'll be on the lookout for the other two. And that innocent girl who was unfortunate to come by this way. They hurt her plenty. Me and you too, Mrs. Benson. But now I'm afraid they're going to have to pay. Hey, who did this? Uh, stranger. Damn fool. Where is he? I don't know, but I'm going to kill him. Take it easy. Looking for me? I got your gold. I'm bringing it to you. Mrs. Benson told me where you hid it. Stop right where you are and don't move. I said stop. I'll send you the gold. But you better send the girl over to me first. I'm not interested in the gold. We don't want to have anything to do with that darn stolen money. All well, right, it's a deal. Oh. too bad that you hid the gold. I happen to need a lot of money, so I'm taking it all. Yep, looks like I'm going to have to kill you first. I was going to take it and run. But you see, you made me mad. I had to wait too long.
over here. You ass, you.
Hey, buddy, why do we want to kill each other? There's enough gold there for me and you. You realize how much there is of it in that case? Just take a look and see. Why, we can split it between the two of us. Well, what do you say, eh? <laughs> Son, don't you do it. Can't you see we've got the upper hand? The gold is ours, and son, it'll be used to a good purpose. We are going to rebuild this town, you and me, boy. It'll be even bigger and better than it was before. How about that? There's quite a future she's got mapped out for you. If you succeed in killing me, you know what you'll have left? A crazy old lady in a town full of tombstones. Don't you listen to him. He's no good. He'll never amount to anything, but you will. He and I are going to rebuild Benson City. The owner of a town is always somebody. Money isn't the only important thing that matters. It's darn useful, though. Think of all the fun. Have a look around. Looks like an old cemetery. Now, if you consider what I'm about to tell you, with your part of the gold by Judas, can't you already taste the flavor of good whiskey? <laughs> Doggone it, boy. Think all the women you can have. All you want of them. The ones that wear that expensive perfume. The ones that have that delicate skin. What did you do that? Burr. I don't want to finish like this. Damn you, you old bastard. Thanks to you, Ray. And good luck. Yeah.